Forbes Shannon. I'm an Arizona State student, and I'm the CEO of the Tempe News Network. Now, you may recognize me from the Emmy award-winning TV show Tempe Late Night, or more specifically, the Emmy I won for my performance in the TLN sketch Elevator. You're a little flirtatious, but I think it's just the way you are. Please stop having this weird boat sex and just get the elevator rolling! That's an Emmy. <laughs> Um, so today I'm here with the Tempe News Network. Uh, we had a fantastic first season of Tempe Late Night. So much so that after winning the Emmys and becoming a sex symbol on the Tempe campus, we got our own student network, the Tempe News Network, which is built around the same principles we built Tempe Late Night around, to showcase student perspectives at Arizona State. Like I said, we had a great first season, although we did lose one cast member early on, Lauren Coles, because she had to focus on classes. However, we did get a great replacement for Lauren Coles, Colton Lubbock. Woo! Yeah! Woo! 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 Yeah! We also got a new director halfway through this season, Raina. Of course. Keep it going. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, right. Um, there is no hazing in Tempe Lake. Um, actually, recently we just held auditions for, temp or for Arizona State students to audition to be pledges with Tempe Late Night. As a pledge, they help write some of our content, and they do some of the behind-the-scene things that make the show fun. <laughs> now, if you're here for Tempe Late Night, you're actually one week too early. This week, we have exclusive Tempe News Network stuff. TNN. It's like CNN, but TNN. You see what we did there? Yeah. Uh, of course, Tempe Late Night will still be our flagship program, like Sports Center is to ESPN, or Racism is to Fox. <laughs> tonight, tonight at 8:15, we have Chef Cali, an Arizona State culinary student that's actually from New Jersey. He comes on and he shows college students some tasty college recipes. Then, at 8.30, we have the late night news headlined by Walter Cronkite Jr., the grandson of Walter Cronkite. For those of you who don't know who Walter Cronkite is, he has the School of Journalism at Arizona State. It's okay if you don't know that. It's on the downtown Phoenix campus and no one goes to the downtown. <laughs> Walter Cronkite Jr. brings college students the top news stories that they need. Then, at 8.45, we will have TLN auditions, where people can, on stage, live for TLN Idol, audition to be a pledge with Tempe Late Night. There is no hazing in Tempe Late Night. <laughs> As we go forward with the program, we want you to enjoy yourselves, and then remember that next week, of course, Tempe Late Night will be back. And one last note, there is no hazing in Tempe Late Night. <laughs> and without further ado, your Monday night on the Tempe News Network! That's like a doggy toy, so it's good with a dog. <laughs>